Good evening, everyone. Today we're going to play a little bit of Genshin, because I really feel like it. So let's get stuck straight into it, shall we? And we were doing... Um... This one? Yes. We're working on getting the Jade Chamber ris risen, raised. Hello, Master Zhang. Hmm? Ah, hello. Are you here for something off the shelf, or do you need something forged? Excuse me, Master Zhang. We were wondering if you'd heard of something called a Wonder Core. Of course I have. Sorry, um, who's asking? I am. My name is Yunjin. Perhaps you don't know me. But I believe that you forged some weaponry for my father in the past, for stage use. Yunjin? Stage use? Oh, so <clears throat> you must be Miss Yoon. Oh, uh, you're such a big brain. <clears throat> Sorry, my brain's finally caught up. <sighs> it's not used to doing much beyond bashing a hammer all day. <laughs> Everyone's heard of you, Miss Yoon. Even folks who don't make it to the opera all that often. <laughs> like myself. So, you're here to ask about wonder cores, huh? As it happens, I do know how to make them. Matter of fact, I made some for Lady Ningguang back when she was building the original Jade Chamber. The types of ore needed to make wonder cores are a little hard to come by. Lady Ningguang supplied them herself last time. I don't suppose you've brought any yourselves? Maybe. No, we were gonna ask you what kinds of ore we need. <laughs> sure. Well, you'll need two kinds. Star Splinter Iron and Sabrosium. Hey, Zera Zion. I'll do the chew for you. Hope you're ready. Pikachu! And we'll hydrate and stretch and posture as well. And that drink. Stretch. <laughs> And I'll sit up nice and straight. Thanks for looking after my health. If I remember correctly, Lady Ningguang sourced her Star Splinter iron from the Mount Tianhung area. They say it resonates with visions. It could take some work, but if you stick with it, you'll find some eventually. As for the Sabrosium, though, hmm, that's trickier. It's all but unheard of on the market. Then uh, where do we start? Uh, I'm really not sure. Sorry. What I've heard is that the people around Mount Tianhung have some sort of magic trick that can pinpoint the location of the stuff. Of course, it's probably just hearsay. If you want my advice, start by looking for Star Splinter Iron around Mount Tianhung. And if you run into any locals, ask them a few questions about Sabrosium. Mount Tianhung. Interestingly enough, the story of the Divine Damsel of Devastation also takes place on that mountain. I hear the view there is quite spectacular. A favorite destination of the Adepti, in fact. Perhaps it can give me some inspiration. Let's not delay. We should head straight there. Uh, we should probably just teleport rather than walk. There we go. Right here. I came to Mount Tianung once with my father as a child. I remember it being such a long climb that I could barely feel my legs by the time we reached the top. <laughs> This is quite a trip down memory lane for me. Look at these majestic towering peaks and the gently flowing streams. It's like setting foot in paradise. No wonder the legend of the divine damsel of devastation is said to have taken place here. Adepti wander oft where mortals seldom stride. Indeed, this looks like a place that one might expect to be frequented by Adepti. 
The Divine Damsel of Devastation is your upcoming opera, right? And the story takes place in Mount Tianhang. Huh. Seems like you have a real connection with this place. What's the story about, though? It's the story of a girl becoming a hero. Cool. A hero story? They're Paimon's favorite! The legend first arose in this area. It is said that there used to be a prosperous village on the mountain. Not anymore. In that village, there was a loving couple who were completely devoted to one another. One day, a terrifying monster appeared. The wife was out collecting herbs and was captured by the monster. Her husband was so distraught at the news that it broke his spirit and drove him to madness. The vile and vicious monster told the villagers, If you want to live, you must sacrifice a child to me. What a nasty piece of work! Ugh. Paimon sure hopes this monster gets put in its place! Stop interrupting and let us speak. But the monster was so terrible and so strong that all within the village were terrified of it. They had no choice but to give in to the monster's demand. Just while they were discussing whose child would be given over to the monster, a little girl suddenly stood up and came forward. No! Don't do it, little girl! I want shut up. Unbeknownst to anybody else, she was concealing an exorcist's blade. She approached the monster's lair, feigning fear and trepidation. When she finally arrived, she courageously drew her sword and entered into a fierce struggle with the monster, from which she eventually emerged as the victor. Her extraordinary abilities drew the attention of the Adepti, and they took her as one of their own. Her story became the stuff of legends. But alas, the paths of mortals and Adepti seldom cross, and she would never again re-enter the mortal world. And so... Destined to grace the mortal realm for but a brief moment, she vanished like a wisp of smoke into thin air. <laughs> That's how the opera ends. Look at Shen, huh? I really like this story. But I personally think that perhaps the little girl was... not as brave as the opera makes her out to be. I'm not sure she deserves all the praise she is given. Hmm, I've never considered that before. Opera is always an interpretation of the events it purports to portray. A certain degree of deviation from the truth is always inevitable. Are you saying this is a true story? When my father wrote the script for this play, I suppose his intention was to inspire his audience with the character of the Divine Damsel. Hmm. I think it's a great story. The ideal story. Well, it sure inspired Paimon! Yes, let's go do that. Um, alright, so they weren't what we're after, but we'll grab them anyway. Ah, there's one. We need another one. Is that you over there? I think that's you over there. This should be a nice there we go. Splinter Iron. Now we just need to find that Sabrosium. I think I saw a village on our way here. Master Jong said we should ask the locals for help. Why don't we try there? This looks like a local. Hey, there really is someone here. Yunjin, looks like you were right. Excuse us, sir. Can we ask you something? <gasps> huh. He 
didn't seem to catch that. Hello, sir. We were just passing by and wanted to ask if you happen to know anything about Sabrosium. <sighs> You're right there. Is he trying to tell us to look for clues in the village? Well, whatever. Guess we're on our own here. Shenma, Yunjin, let's have a look around. Sorry, you can go ahead without me. I'd like to have a word with this gentleman. If that's okay with you, Uncle Mingjin. It's... It's... It looks like you've seen a ghost. Shen He. Shen He. You're alive. The rumors were true. So, all these years? I'm sorry, I don't know how to find Sabrosium. But I think you can find some information in the village. Uh, this place is deserted now. No one ever comes here. So you can rummage around all you want. Huh? You know this guy, Shenhe? Uh... Maybe? Thank you, kind sir. We'll go and take a look around. Don't worry. Mingjun has no ill intention towards Miss Shenhe. She'll be quite safe. Okay. Then let's see what we can find in this village. Alright, let's have a... Have a look around. What have we got over here? Pick up a thing. Records of a changing the village. Of a god, an abandoned village, Mount Tianhang. A branch family of exorcists used to live in the east of the village. But in around two weeks, the mother died of disease. The young daughter went missing, and shortly after, the father hanged himself on a tree in the, in the yard of his house. That's not great. That's terrible. It has been confirmed that traces of an evil god's remains were found in the village. The villagers are panicked, and no one is certain whether the evil god's remains are gone for good. Do be careful when you are in this area. Does this mean that the true story of the Divine Damsel of Devastation happened right here, in this village? The time frame certainly matches, so it seems we're in the right area. Let's keep looking around. Hey, treasure chest. Ooh, we can definitely write this off as incidental gains. Oh, we're moving further away. Free butterfly. This isn't... This is where we did find the thing. telling us that we need to be here. No, it can't be right. We searched there already. There's nothing up here. Ragged notebook. The doctor said you were gravely ill. Don't worry, I'll give you anything. I, I will give you everything I have to save you. My heart bleeds whenever I see you getting wearier, your illness beyond treatment. How I wish I could suffer the pain for you. You said you had no regrets in this life, and that you only wish for me to take good care of Shenha. But if you regret nothing, why the tears? I don't know what I've done, been doing lately, though I still breathe. I feel like an empty shell. I have read all the ancient texts I could get my hands on, looking for ways to save you. 
but it is utterly futile. I finally found it. It was Minjin. He had kept the book that could save you hidden. It, I took it and followed its instructions to summon a god and to offer a sacrifice. The god appeared. I told him that I was willing to exchange my life for yours. He kept silent and only pointed to our daughter, Shenha. The god said her fate was to bear the curse and uh, the curse of calamity, and that she was prone to bring harm to those close to her. The god also said that she might even have been the cause of your death. In that case, I thought I should... I left her in the cave that the god mentioned. Three days have passed and still no news. I grow restless from waiting, seized by an ominous feeling. I am sorry, my love. Forgive me. You too, Shenha. Please forgive me. How stupid I was. How blind. Let me apologize to both of you in person. Maybe this is the true story of the dam Divine Damsel of Devastation. So, Shenha is the Divine Damsel? Now that I think about it, she does behave rather like an adeptus, and she is about the right age. So that's why I've been getting the strangest feeling whenever I chat with her. I should have noticed it earlier. According to this text, the divine damsel from the opera was actually the daughter of the loving couple. And she didn't volunteer. She was sacrificed to the monster by her own father. Oh, the truth is even more lamentable than the opera. Now I understand why Shenha said the girl was not as brave as people think. It wasn't her choice to enter that ghastly situation. She was forced into it. Oh, it looks like my father may need to make a few revisions to his beloved opera. Poor Shenha. but still no mention of Sabrosium. Let's have a look over there. Ooh, a treasure chest. I'll take you. Oh, we can definitely write this off as incidental gains. Huh. This is it! Mountainous Miscellany. Magic engraved on Sabrosium Subru does not wear off easily. Some believe the stone to be a bridge between the living and the dead. However, finding Sabrosium is no easy matter. You need to be at the right place at the right time. Legend has it that you may find Sabrosium if you stand in the middle of the lake south of Mount Tianghang at dusk and look in the direction of the setting sun. So basically, we need to go to the middle of the lake south of Mount Tianhung at dusk, and we'll find us some Sabrosium! Let's go back and tell Shenhe the news! Also, I see a Sealy up on that house. Let's see if we can snag it. Hmm. Aha! We got up. Where are you going? You playing backwards? Like up. Where to? <laughs> yeah, there's your nestle spot. Nicely done. Remarkable condition. <laughs> Back to Shen, huh? One year when I was back visiting, I heard a story about a white-haired adeptus from a merchant passing by. I never imagined it was you. I was a very close friend of your father's. 
I could have stopped him from performing the summoning ritual. I had plenty of chances, but I couldn't bring myself to stand up to him. I just let things happen, let it all escalate. And, well, we all know how that story ended. Holy. I bring flowers back here every year. And each time I wish I had a chance to apologize to you. Apologize for what? If you'd stopped him, he'd only have found another way. There is nothing he wouldn't have done for his true love. Nothing. Do you still hate him? I don't know what I feel. I'm told my fate is to bear the curse of calamity, so my master bound my soul with red ropes to curb my aggression. But it also dampened my emotions, making me dispassionate, like the Adepti. So if you ask me how I feel about the past, if I hate my father or not, the truth is, I feel nothing at all. It must have been so tough for you all these years. Shenna, we're back! Oh, then I will leave you all in peace. Shenna, it brings me some solace knowing that you are okay. I'll tell you more about the old times next time we meet. Thanks, mister. We found some info in the end. Shenhua, look. This tells us how to find Sabrosium. All we gotta do is go to the middle of that lake. Hm. Let's go then. Uh, Miss Shenhua, there's something I'd like to talk to you about. You can tell her on the way. Just now, in the village, we found your father's diary. It turns out that many of the details in the Divine Damsel of Devastation are not true to the facts. So I'd like to change them. Why? I know I say that opera always deviates from the truth. But now that the main character is standing right here in front of me, I cannot simply dismiss your lived experience in favor of my father's fiction. It's okay. I like your version. B uh, huh? My master once said that the day I learn how to use my strength for the good of others is the day that I can truly become part of human society. So, I hope that one day I might be brave enough to stand up and protect others, just like the girl in the opera. But I've never thought this way before, and I wonder whether I will continue to think in this way. Don't worry. I believe you will. In fact, I think maybe you've already started to become the person you aspire to be. You just haven't had the opportunity to see it for yourself yet. Shenhua! Yunjin! Cut the chit-chat! Let's go! Finally, something Paimon said that was that was good. We can't let someone else beat us to it. In one moment, I'm gonna go turn my heater on because it is really cold here. So I'll be here right back. You? Yep. The case before us is a strange and unprecedented one indeed. I have returned. And let us head to this lake. I see a treasure chest over in the distance. Can I burn down these these trees? I cannot. Wait until evening. Hmm. 
about there. We just go on over. Rain! Oh, Lord of Geo, please do us a favor and clear Hello this up there. at your earliest convenience. It's a bruising him. That's everything we need. Let's head back and report in. Let's go hand that in. Mr. Forgeman, I have some bruising him for you. <sighs> this weather's got me in the mood for reciting some laws. See, Commercial Law of Leela, Chapter 27, Section 6, Article 3 stipulates that. Wait, what was it? Ah, oh, yes, more recital. Goodness. So, are they okay? This is some top quality ore you found. I think I'll get a good end product out of these. Guess now it's my time to shine. Hey, everyone. How's the A team doing? I ran into a bit of a brick wall on my end. Suling's never seen a wonder core before, and says it'd take a lot of research for him to get up to speed. Leave the wonder cores to me. I'll work on them while you go about your business. Don't worry. <laughs> it won't take me too long. Much obliged, Master Zhang. We should look into the Adepti sigils next, but where should we find items relating to the Adepti? I'll sort that out. Oh? Uh you got this then? Yes. I have been training with the Adepti for years. I know a thing or two about making sigils. When we first met, I told you I came for the Jade Chamber, not the contest. In fact, I came specifically to deliver Adepti sigils. Master heard that Ning Wang was planning to rebuild the Jade Chamber, so she sent me to deliver some Adepti sigils to her. Master also said she hoped that I can take this opportunity to rejoin human society. But now that I'm here, I wonder if I've been removed from the world for too long. There's so much basic knowledge that I lack. Maybe it won't work right, for me to stay here after all. But either way, I'm very glad to have met you. And I'll take care of those Adepti sigils. Thank you for the Adepti sigils. Without knowing the ins and outs of your situation, I can't say whether you should stay or not. But now that our paths have crossed, we'll always have a connection. So if you're ever feeling down, come find me on my ship. There'll be a drink waiting for you. Thank you. So, Master Zhang, I'll need to use your facilities to make the sigils. Fine by me. I'm actually curious to see how the Adepti Arts work. Maybe I'll learn something. Maybe. Master Zhang and Shin Hus start making the wonder cores in the Adepti sigils. Whew. The sigils are ready. Though they are in some respects inferior to my masters, I can assure you there will be no quality issues. I've finished forging the things you asked for, too. I did a thing as well. Great! Let's go submit them before someone else gets there ahead of us! Wonder Core and Adepti Sigils obtained. J Chamber is partially raised. That's not a ramp. This is the ramp. Oh, I didn't jump. Let's try again. <laughs> yeah, 
There we go. Ning Gong's little secretary. We found all the materials. Oh, already? All yes. three of you found them together. Okay, I see. The wonder claws and Adepti sigils look good. It seems that we found our winners. Yeah, we have. By one calls for the participants together. I hereby announce that the winners of this material procurement contest are the Traveler, Yunjin, and Beido. What? It's over already? I haven't even found the plus strike yet. Oh, I can't believe it. You get good scrub. Uh, so close, but so far. I'd like to invite our three winners to please proceed to the Jade Chamber, where Lady Ningguang is waiting for you. Huh? Where's Beidou? She was right here! Captain Beidou has some business to attend to. She will join later. Please come with me for now. Alright then, guess we'll head on up to the Jade Chamber first! This has been a long time coming. The last time we went up to the Jade Chamber was ages ago! <laughs> Why wouldn't lead you to the Jade Chamber? Combine the Adepti sigils with the Wonder Cores and insert them into the Jade Chamber's control compartment. The construction of the new Jade Chamber is now officially complete. Once the tethers are released, it will soar into the sky. Thank you all for your work. Now it is time for me to fulfill my promise. Yeah! Miss Yun, I've already heard something about the reason for your involvement. You are looking for a venue for your new opera, aren't you? That's right. Lady Ningguang, I would like to hear your opinion. The unveiling of Miss Yun's grand new opera surely requires a venue of equal grandeur. So what would you say if I proposed that we stage your first performance right here, in the newly built Jade Chamber? Oh my. The Jade Chamber offers a splendid panoramic view of the mountains and the bustling city. It is fitting for the finest performance to be hosted in the heavens. I can think of no better stage for you than here, Miss Yun. Thank you, Lady Ningguang. Then I will prepare my props and other articles shortly. Please allow me to bring all these aboard the Jade Chamber. You're quite welcome. It's truly what a good opera deserves. Ningguang's just wanting free tickets. Oh, the Traveler, Shenhe, Paimon, I'll be leaving now. Do come and see my play when the time comes. Sure. You're next. What is your question? I should clarify. I do not know your sister's whereabouts. Please, don't waste your question on this matter. Wow, you're a mind reader, Ningguang. Oh well, guess Paimon will ask a question then. Oh, it's going to be bad. Managing a successful business is not as simple as you might think. Capital, connections, sensitivity to the trends, an instinct for what is a good opportunity. All of these traits are crucial. If you want to know how to make money, I will honor our agreement and give you an answer. But that is not to say that it will work for you. Your typical kit. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the lounge. You know, so far, Lufa. Wow. Paimon hadn't even asked the question yet. Your question was written all over your face. Now look. You helped me rebuild the Jade Chamber, and I intend to repay you handsomely for it. So I promise you that should you one day require financial assistance, you may seek employment here. I will pay you at the highest rate of remuneration. Hey, typical, how you doing? Oh, great! So next time we run out of Mora, we just need to come to Ningguang? No more questions from us. Shenha, you got a question? That's fantastic. I'm glad you're doing good. I am also doing well. I normally have Wednesdays off, but... I keep streaming anyway. Me? Yes, this is a group effort! Thank you, but I don't have anything to ask. Are you sure? This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. I'd urge you not to squander it. Yeah, just don't waste it. Uh, hold on a second. Paimon can probably think of another one. 
I do my best. Lady Ningguang, do you think I can ever fit in in Liyue Harbor? Now that is an interesting question. Liyue Harbor is very inclusive. As long as you respect the rules here, you will not be turned away. So, the key is whether or not you yourself can develop a sense of belonging in Liyue Harbor. Huh. A sense of belonging? Yes. To become fond of a place, to feel part of it, it always requires a reason. You're right, Shane, huh? You can always have a place at mine. Perhaps someone you've met, or something you've experienced here. Or perhaps you enjoy the atmosphere of Liyue, and you will become accustomed to it. In short, everyone needs a reason to stay. I hope you can find yours soon. Oh, I see. Hey, what's going on? I just went to see the fleet a little later than expected. Come on, Beto! It's your turn! Do you have a question for Ningguang? No worries, typical. Have yourself a good luck, and thanks for dropping by. Me? Nah, I ain't got any questions. She forced me to help out, so I figured I may as well get involved with the contest. Ningguang, don't forget what we talked about. It's not gonna be easy to deal with. I don't think my fleet can take it on their own. Don't worry. I have made preparations. The wound dressings are ready, and the Millilith have set up an ambush. <sighs> Glad to hear it. Watch your back. Stay alert. Beto? Ningguang? What are you talking about? You'll see when the Jade Chamber ascends. However, it's not the most pleasant topic of conversation. Maybe it's better that you don't know. But now I want to know even more. Ying Guang prepares to lift off. When I first set foot in the Jade Chamber, I stood at the edge of the platform and looked down upon Liyue Harbor far below. At that time, I dreamed that one day the Jade Chamber's shadow would be seen in all seven nations of Tevat. My wish has not changed to this very day. However, it is not only out of consideration for myself that I have built the Jade Chamber anew at this time. I hope the Jade Chamber will always float in the skies above Liyue Harbor, bearing witness to the prosperity and peace of the human world. And I hope that you can all witness it with me. Let the Ascension Ceremony commence! Alright, time to go up. Break the tethers. Ascend to the heavens. Oh, Baisht. Osile's wife. Final follower of the Overlord of the Vortex. Sounds like you knew this was coming! Beto sensed something was stirring in the deep. She warned me months ago. Knowing she harbors hatred toward the Jade Chamber, I chose to rebuild it now as a way of drawing her out. Got it! Well, let's go fetch the Adepti! No. Huh? In this human age, the people of Liyue must find a way to overcome this crisis on our strength alone! You've set a trap for the beast. And Kaching's here. The Ganyu. Wait! A giant wave! 
You're gonna punch it in the face, huh? Mm -hmm. How'd that work out for you? Thanks, Shinha. Huh? You are a cursed child. Your life brings nothing but disaster to us all. At least if you die, I can bring her back. The day you learn how to use your strength for the good of others is the day that you can truly become part of human society. Look at go. She's going in for the kill. There will be no survivor. Man, she has so cool. I can't let you be the only one taking this risk. I hardly see this as a great risk. Too bad we can't the use it. The at Harbor are well prepared, and she is already badly injured. Only sheer willpower is keeping her alive. I may be nearing the end of my stamina, but in a fight to the death, I think I have the upper hand. We'll help too. Where are you? There you are. Oh, there's another head. All right. Oi! I'm trying to kill things here. Now oh, we still got one head. Hoping that the heads just stay together. Two down. We've got one head to go. Can't quite hit it from here. We'll get those elemental reactions happening. Get the heals. Stay out of that middle because that's going to hurt lots. Alright, heads, where are you going? Over there. Alright, we can 
finally reach this head. And we have beaten it. This place is unstable. It is too risky to continue pursuing her. If the place collapsed, the consequences would be disastrous. Let's head back. Yes, let's head back. Are you all right? I'm just a little exhausted. Otherwise, fine. I wanted to deal with it myself. I didn't expect you to follow me. Don't worry. She's not coming back anytime soon. After an injury like that, she'll likely seek refuge somewhere else. How did things go underwater? It's been dealt with. She was injured before entering the water. It didn't take too much effort to finish the job. Good. So the crisis has been safely averted. When you visit the Jade Chamber in the future, you will be afforded generous treatment. Lady Ningguang, the fleet reports that the sea monster has left Guyan Stone Forest and the surrounding waters have returned to normal. Thank you. How are the Mililith? Thanks to the medical supplies you prepared and Lady Kuching's command, our losses were minimal. Of course, we owe huge thanks to this young lady for her help. On behalf of the entire Mililith, Thank you for your service. I... Uh, Shinha protected us. Great. Then next time I watch Miss Yun's opera, I'll be able to take the compliments. I wasn't trying to be a hero, though. I just wanted to protect you. Aww. Let the soldiers recuperate, but don't let your guard down. If she returns with a vengeance, we must be prepared. Yes, ma'am. You've been monitoring us for some time now. I trust you've reached a conclusion. Hmm. You wish to hear one's opinion. Well, things would have hardly gone so smoothly had it not been for Shen He. That I do not deny. However, final victory was always going to be ours, even had things been a little more arduous. If it came to it, I could always destroy another Jade Chamber. <laughs> Just drop another one down. One has observed your adaptation of the Guizhong Ballista, and find oneself compelled to admit that you have evidenced some degree of novel thinking. You have learned from past failures and prepared for this crisis in advance. This is considerable progress compared to the last time. Hence, on balance, one finds your performance during this trial satisfactory enough. But there will no doubt be further trials to come in the future. Do not suppose that one will not continue observing you hereafter. While the position of Tianjuan remains mine, I will always ensure Liyue's safety. Shen He. One saw you secretly venture out from the mountains a few years ago, and noticed the air of dejection in which you returned. Hopefully this trip to Liyue Harbor has been a different experience. Yes. I can't explain it, but I feel happier than I expected. Hmm. Good. Traveler, please take good care of Shen He. She is a dear child. I will take very good care of her. In fact, one has many fond memories of Shen He's childhood that she may be interested to hear about. There will be no need for that. Yes, let's not embarrass Shen He in front of all, of, all these people. Oh. They are all like this. Fine. Since you care not to listen, one shan't be telling you. One shall be going homeward now. Take care, Cloud Retainer. Please, have a good rest. Come to the Jade Chamber when you have recovered your energy. We must celebrate both the completion of the Jade Chamber and the fact that Liyue has weathered another crisis. This banquet must be the most spectacular ever. All right, let's head to Jade Chamber. Wow, everyone's already seated. It's Paimon's first time attending a banquet in the Jade Chamber. 
remember. The food here looks amazing. All of you here are my distinguished guests. I am determined that each of you thoroughly enjoys yourself. Those who don't drink alcohol, please, help yourself to other beverages. Fine wine is a delight to the senses, but it is far from the only one. I trust you will find the marvelous view from the Jade Chamber to be an equally gratifying indulgence. Have you heard? Miss Yun's going to be performing today. Sure have. Honestly, it's the main reason I'm here. I've never missed any of Ms. Yun's performances, and I don't intend to start now. I hear she's going to perform The Divine Damsel of Devastation today, the one written by her father. I've been so excited that I've barely slept the last few nights. Hey, look! Ms. Yun is going on stage! Time to see her operatic skills in use. Oh, that was lovely. What did you think? Personally, I thought I sang rather well. You did a pretty banger job. It was beautiful. Paimon wants to learn too. It was wonderful. Also, thank you. You're welcome. Thanks to you, the Divine Damsel of Devastation is a more nuanced tale than ever. The play has an ending, but life goes on. I believe you will find a way to fit in in Liyue Harbor. Thank you. I think I've found the opportunity I needed to change. Ms. Yun, <laughs> here you are. Great to see you. Huh? Hey, this young lady with the white hair looks like some kind of VIP. Yeah, that's it, like an adeptus. Wait, you're the girl from the opera, aren't you? The divine damsel herself. And look who else we have here, the illustrious traveler. Well, I'll be. 
This was definitely worth showing up for. Get home, you're drunk. Let me pull up a chair. All right. We'll all have a friendly chat. Get better acquainted. <laughs> Alternatively, you could leave us alone. That is, if you'd prefer to finish your drink via the orifice of your own choice. Oh. She has awesome. Uh-oh. This feels all too familiar. Shenhu's back to her old self again. It's st it seems she still has a long way to go. Hey, what are you doing? Calm down, Shenhu. Calm down. The crane returns on the wind has been completed. But two dragon hairs, false fins. So if we had a Shenha, we could uh, ascend her a little bit before moving on. Now we get some achievements. Cranes return to the wild. Complete the reconstruction of the Jade Chamber. Defeat Beist. Witness the truth of the village's history. And we have another one over here. Follow 20 Sealies. Alright. Uh, can I ascend? Oh, we can almost ascend. We need another, another one of these. You know what? Let's go do it. So we'll go to the Pyro Regis Vine. And we will swap weapons. There we are. Because Lisa needs the DPS on the Regis Vine. Because Yanfei is not great. But the elemental reactions will still be pretty decent though. That was Barbara. Get this Verona out. Come a little closer. Okay, the overloads don't do much. Oh, we absolutely dunked on that, on that one. Nice time with the Barbara. There we go. Hopefully that's enough. <laughs> oh no. We need one more chunk. Hmm. Phone stop. Why? No, phone goes on to silent. All right. <laughs> there you go. We get. Got to do more regular vines. Can we send Lisa? No. Barbara? I wonder.
wonder when I'll be as no. tall as my big sister. Can we send the book? We can send the book. Let's do that. And we can add all these bows that we'll never use. And these great swords. Spears. And the swords. And then we'll fill the rest with the enhancement ore. Oh, Mago! Thank you for the raid! Uh, there we are. Thank you, raiders. Welcome to the stream. Let's give you a shout out. There we are. We got Mago Dechi, Darling Husbando. Welcome in, welcome in. For those who are new here, I am a family-friendly VTuber. I am a cyborg vampire, and I like to keep things nice and comfy. So feel free to kick back and relax. And you were playing some Genshin Impact as well. How's the game treating you? Tell me about what you've been up to. We need uh, a bunch of these branches. Can I craft any branches? I can craft three. That'll be a thing for another day. Now I enhance this book. Oh, actually, welcome in, Arson. How you doing? Koopa! Eat Saku. Welcome to the. Uh, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the lounge. You know, so far, so far. And Arson, he's nuts. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the lounge. You know, so far, so far. Can I build the Mafamari? I can. Or prototype Amber. So that'll be good for no one that I want to use. Um, that will be good for Lisa though. Let's build it. How is Kate Saki? You're welcome to come in whenever you want. We now have a Muppy Mari. We've got an achievement. Send a weapon to phase four. And forge a four star weapon. Why not? Right, so you can have the Wid Seth. You can have the Muppy Mari. Let's enhance that. Oh, we can't send it yet. Hey, it's Wednesday. Today's Wednesday. Keep me company for a while. So it is this domain. And we'll just do the slightly easier one. We won't do the hardest one. I don't I don't think we can do the hardest one. I'm still a little a little under it. And for now, 
We'll equip a book that's not terrible. We are destroying these. Maybe we could have done the hard one. Oh, get dunked on you lightning slimes. Absolutely dunked. Alright, yeah, we destroyed that. Hopefully that's enough. Yes. That is enough for the single ascension. I, lo I love Rainy's clap emo. It's so cute. We'll ascend that. Slam more crystals in. There we are. Alright, we're gonna need... Oh. How much do I have resin-wise? Alright, we don't have enough resin to do it again. The laws compatible with human nature, so over the week, we will get conflict. some more for that. Balancing the two is a... But is it better than what we have? Okay, it's not better yet. But it's almost better. It's still 20 levels below and it's almost better, so. We'll hold on. Continue to use this one for now. Discipline in its own right. Now then. There was a quest I want to start. Which starts at the this place here. I accidentally triggered it while doing dailies during the week and it was incredibly annoying so because I've had to hand in all of my uh, all of my dailies in Liu Wei but I was able to alt F4 out of it and we can do it again traveler please over here it has been a while since you joined the adventurers guild are your adventures going smoothly I'm recruiting new allies hmm. Is that so? Apart from your own skills, reliable teammates are also indispensable when adventuring. Another person to count on is always good after all. But recruiting such dependable companions is no easy matter, is it? Yep, and it's even harder to get a guide as good as Paimon. Ah, yes. I do have some information that may be of help to you. I like information that helps me. Let me consult our records. Ah, there it is. There's been a certain blonde stranger who arrived in Mondstadt lately, dressed in most unusual clothes. That is almost every main character in this game. Blonde. Dress is all funny. It feels like Paimon's heard this one before. Wait! Do you mean... Could it be? Does that stranger's face look anything like his? Hmm? Like the honorary knights? No, they couldn't look more different. This stranger is a very tall man, and even has an eye patch. So just some distant relative of Kay is then. Seriously? <laughs> How does this have anything to do with Kaya? I just can't prove that you're related anyway. Sure they can. That stranger declined the guild's invitation, so I can't say that I know anything about the relationship between him and Mr. Kaya. Nonetheless, you can look for him if you're interested. Perhaps he might accept your commission instead. After all, it is not uncommon for some adventurers to not want to be limited by the guild, but be happy to accept a fellow adventurer's requests. And should the stranger be a strong adventurer indeed, he would certainly be a big help on your journey. But if he's already rejected the guild... Please don't talk down on yourself like that. You are the honorary knight of the Knights of Favonius, after all. Your deeds are the stuff of song for all the bards in the city, even now. Well, alright then. 
about that stranger. Well, as to further news about him, you may want to ask Mr. Lawrence. He stands guard at the city gate, so he may know something about that stranger. I wish you every success, adventurer. Thank you. Ad Astra Abyss Now we can talk to you as normal. We've got a few to, few of these to claim as well. We'll claim this. What do we get? An attack circlet with crit rate? Not bad, not bad. Yeah, could be worse. Free wish. Some Traveler Ascension materials. Alright. Oops, sorry Catherine. Wait, why can't I do this one? I do Legend of the Dark Knight Hero. Come in, take a seat. We have a few specials today at Angel Share. Into Tavern. Hey, Charles. So, you've got a taste for adventure too, huh? I must say, the patrons have been in a bit of a buzz lately. Though the topic on everyone's lips is more of an urban legend than actual news. Even minding my own business, I still end up hearing all about it. Uh-oh, it's not one of those scary urban legends, is it? If so, Paimon needs to take a deep breath first. <laughs> it's not a particularly scary story, no. At least, not for most people. It's the tale of... The Dark Knight Hero. The Dark Knight Hero. <coughs> Paimon, you literally just said it's not a scary story. Huh? Did the bartender just say something? Paimon, you're dumb. You weren't even listening. Anyway... The Dark Knight Hero. It is said that he appears in the middle of the night to fight evil and uphold justice. But to be honest, I don't have much interest in such rumors. <laughs> Unless, of course, he can help take care of the more belligerent patrons after they've had a few too many. <laughs> I would happily take that as proof of his existence. Has anyone ever seen him? I'm told that there have been a handful of sightings. But in the depths of night, no one can get a good look at him. <laughs> Perhaps that's why he only appears at night. Nevertheless, the sightings confirm that the Dark Knight hero is more than just a groundless rumor. <laughs> anyway, that's more or less everything I know. If you want to know more, ask around in the plaza. Oh, I need to serve some customers. Dark Knight hero. Seems like your standard cookie cutter urban legend, but just a little darker. Wonder who it could be. Once you're ready, let's head out to the plaza and ask around. I'm ready. Dark Knight Heroes Alibi. And Dainsleaf. Wait. Ah. Yeah. All right, we can't even continue. We got to we got to go back to the other one. Is something the matter? I'm looking for a stranger with an eye patch. A stranger with an eye patch? Hmm, let me think. Oh, yeah! I remember seeing someone like that. 
a blonde stranger dressed in unusual garb. He was wandering all over Mondstadt at first, which I found rather suspicious, so I decided to keep an eye on him for a while. <sighs> I lost him pretty quickly. Still, I didn't think that this was such a huge matter that we needed our outrider to pursue him by air. As long as Master Jean is here, there's nothing to fear from some suspicious, unusual-looking person. That might be true, but if it were up to Jean, she'd take this way more seriously. <laughs> that is true. But on the other hand, knowing that Master Jean may overreact to the situation is all the more reason to not tell her, no? Surely she would want to know these things. <sighs> Anyways. Oh yeah, he was at Wagner Smithy for a while before I tried telling him. He might have said something to Wagner. You should go ask him. Maybe he has more news about our stranger. Hey, Wagner. Why? You need something? Sir, I'm looking for a stranger with an eye patch. Here, I remember him. He showed up a few days ago asking to buy a bunch of forging materials. Can't say I've heard of any of the materials he mentioned, though. He then had a look at the weapons in my shop before leaving. I've heard that he can be found drinking at the Angel's Share. If the Knights of the Guild want to get hold of him, that's the only place to be. <laughs> the Angel's Share? Well, Master Dealer probably has his eye on that stranger too then. Anyway, let's go to the Angel's Share and have a look. Back to the tavern. to tavern. Have a chat with Charles again. What will it be? Grape juice or apple cider? Another day. Another lack of alcoholic options. Hey Charles, have you seen a blonde stranger who wears an eye patch around here by any chance? That I have. He comes here every night. Just a drink though. Doesn't order anything else. He even sometimes mixes his own drinks after he orders them. I don't know anything else about him, but from his selections and mixes, I'd say that he's quite the connoisseur. And what's Master D. Luke's opinion? Why, I just gave it to you. Quite the connoisseur. Investigating everything as always. Guess that's D. Luke for you. If you're looking for that gentleman, he ordered some new bottle of wine in advance yesterday. So he should be here today too. There's too many raucous patrons on the first floor, so if you want to wait, best to go to the second. I guess we go to the second floor. And wait on the seat by the railing. You see? There we go. Ah, welcome, sir. The wine that you previously ordered is here. He's really here? Let's go downstairs and have a look. Hey. Yep. Where are you? There you are. Hi. I'm an adventurer with the Adventurers Guild. How do you do? I'm an honorary knight of Favonius. Wow, he's got no intention of paying us any mind, huh? So, uh, I'm a traveler. A traveler, you say? Hmm. Why are you traveling? I'm looking for my lost relative. <sighs> well, that's as good a reason as any. Sit down over there, then. So... Guess we've broken the ice. What a weird guy. Hmm. That little one beside you. My best chum. Uh-huh. We're the best of friends. It's indeed a good thing to have someone accompany you on your travels. My name's Dainsliff. I suppose you have some business with me? Well, 
I was hoping to invite you to adventure with us. Sure. Well, that was easy. Huh? He was so cold just a moment before. Hyman's got a bad feeling about this. But I will require advance payment. B -b payment you say? 500 mora and three answered questions. No, oh, that's that's jump change. The 500 is a one-time fee and we'll settle the questions in a moment. That's it. That's it. Sure. Well, now Paimon's got a really bad feeling. That kind of compensation can't be right. Well, use the 500 mora. Ah, thank you. Now, as for my questions, I'd like you to answer them here and now. And if I answer wrongly? The answer to a question says nothing about right and wrong. Only about differences in attitude. I only wish to know what your choices are. You need only answer. Well, all right then. Question one. The crisis Mondstadt faced was resolved by an alliance between yourself and that... Animo Archon who calls himself Venti. Who, in your view, was the key to ending that crisis? How did you know what Venti is? I know everything that I should. <laughs> well, answer the question. It was me. Is that your answer? Yes. Hmm. Question number two. Rex Lapis, who has defended Liyue Harbor for millennia on end, used his gnosis to lay down a contract to end all contracts, of which the stipulations are still unknown. Who do you think will defend Liyue Harbor in the future, now that they've lost their deity? Uh, the Liyue Qi Xing. So that's your answer? I see. Yes. Now for my final question. This world has people who gained visions and those who did not. Which of the two do you think hold more importance in the eyes of the gods? Perhaps none of them do. So, this is your answer then. I understand. It seems that you're different from her. What, what do you mean her? <laughs> I'll take that 500 mora. And now I also understand your views on this world. As we agreed, you may now commission me. That said, I only take commissions related to the Abyss Order. Like you, I am currently on a journey. You intend to find your sibling, while I wish to oppose the Abyss. Well, I've met some Abyss mages in the past. <sighs> Those creatures that serve the Abyss are the fangs and claws by which the Order spreads chaos in this world. I have come to Mondstadt this time while on the trail of an Abyss Herald. An Abyss Herald? An even more twisted Abyssal being. One that commands the Abyss Mages. Come to think of it, since the Storm Terror incident ended, we haven't... Oh, that's right! We've just been fighting against the Fatui and Liyue, who are human too. We haven't encountered the non-human Abyss Order at all. There's some reason behind that, I'm afraid. It's possible that they may have been under orders to avoid your path. Oh, that does sound pretty dangerous. <gasps> Maybe they're looking for a better time to ambush us or something. They won't defeat me. Uh-huh. We're super duper strong. Well, I am. You're useless. That manner. It's just like hers. Well then, let's go see for ourselves, shall we? According to the leads I have on hand, the Abyss Order has re-infiltrated the Temple of the Falcon. Yeah, perhaps we've got another tube redeem? Hope you're ready. Pikachu! There you go, Herbs. Let's meet up at the Temple. How you doing? Perhaps your questions about the Abyss will be answered there. to the Temple of the Falcon. This abandoned temple does bear some marks of the Abyss, the Falcon of the West. Though it can soar in the wind, it ultimately does not but hover under the light of the gods. What are you talking about? Hmm? Oh, it's nothing. 
Let's head inside. Paimon is not emergency food. I don't want to put Paimon any part of Paimon inside of me. <laughs> All right, abyssal traces. The abyssal traces have led you back here. Will the Abyss Herald rear its head and let you witness its transformation wrought upon the Abyssal Gospel? It recommends we bring Cryo, but I'm going to not bring Cryo and see if we can do it without. The scent of the Abyss is getting stronger. It's not far now. What the abyss girls look like? Do they look something like the abyss mages? Let's head further in first. If we do see that creature, that'll spare me the explanation either way. Oh, you got dunked on. And these overloads are good. Incinerate. Thank you, overloads. And we'll clean these. Open door. Free meat, free radish. That's a whole meal on its own. Uh, and a hidden treasure chest as well. Motion to compel. Boom, boom. You're in for a little shock. You've been a naughty boy. Alright, we just got the Abyss Mage. And Barbara gets rid of that quickly. And then the Overloads destroy him. Three treasure chests. Three wolf hooks. We have a water and pyro abyss mage. Let's uh, do this. Try and get rid of this shield. And then we can overload you out of existence. Thank you. Just a few abyss mages. Seems like that Herald might have already left. Could you tell me more about the Abyss Order? The Abyss. The Abyss. It is chaos, and it is also destruction. It is a morass of inconceivable madness that encroaches upon this world's very foundations. You can hear the disdain for the Abyss in his voice. That is why even the Dragon of the East, a servant of a deity, was unable to resist its corrosive powers. And the creatures of the Abyss desire nothing less than the overthrow of a world ruled by the Archons. Hey, Hex, how you doing? Thanks for the luck, I appreciate it. You seem to know a lot about the Abyss, game. <laughs> well, we do have some history. I suppose that's as far as chit-chat goes. We should head to Wolvendom. Judging by the traces I'm following, their next appearance may be within the territory of that old wolf. Perhaps we may find our Abyss Herald there. Maybe. Free treasure. More wolf hooks. There's no treasure chest behind there. 
Yeah, no treasure chest behind there either. Off to Wolfendom. Free anime fly. Cruise on over this gap. <laughs> and make our way to to the area located on our map. Well, hey, we're in both of them now. Think Dean's waiting for us up ahead? Should meet up with him quick in case the wolves decide they don't like him. Is there another another fire tower somewhere? There you are. Is there a fourth? Ah, there is a fourth. There we go. Play my we treasure. Can definitely write this off as incidental gains. Paimon is very annoying. I would really like Lord Paimon. Of Wolvendom, great wolf king of the north. I would really like Paimon to have most of their lines stripped from them. And have the traveler speak instead. Sharp of fang and keen of claw, and yet dwelling here only. You know that wolf? No, nor does it know me. I only know these things because a previous traveling companion of mine once wanted to hear its story. All right, let's go see if that abyss herald has stopped by here. But where do we begin? Hmm. Are you standing here because of these strange bonfires, Dean? Indeed. See that? Floating above the flames? It's an abyssal spell. Knowing what I do of the Order's habits, they've probably left similar marks behind elsewhere. Let's have a look nearby. See, I like this wolf. It gives uh, boss materials. Although I haven't unlocked it on this account yet. I think I need to do the Razor story for it. <gasps> do you think that those monsters by the bonfire are under the Abyss Order's control? Looks kind of scary. Let's beat them up first. Ah. Can you, can you, can you stop? I'm trying to blow you up. There we go. Oh, let the show begin. Whoa! That thing's launched a ton of attacks. That's that. Let's go check out. Looks like this bonfire's also got something to do with the abyss. Alright, up we go. Three minutes. And there's another one of those bonfire spells. Looks like the abyss real case. Where did these monsters pop out from? Let's clear them out and quick! Let's see if I can slam them with this attack. I, I 
can. Nice. Oh, he just teleported just to dodge a couple of attacks. This game does have battle music, yes. Yeah, after the battle changed it, it's now back to the normal music. Which I believe is none, I guess. But no music right now. Maybe this area just doesn't have music. Add to the, the creepy vibes. Uh, let's pop on Barbara so that I can heal while I talk to Dainsleaf. Have you finished searching? We found lots of signs of the Abyss Order. I searched around these parts and found some signs myself. But they were left behind by Abyss Mages. And there was no deeper Abyssal power to them. It seems that even an Abyss Herald would not wish to make trouble with the Wolf King of the North. We should leave as well. If there's anything praiseworthy about that old wolf, it's his territorial nature. But now we're out of leads! Are we going to have to give up? No. There is one more place we can go. Let's get a move on then. I'll wait for you at Storm Terror's lair. I'll meet you there. And bloop. Hey, Dainsleaf. I've heard about what happened to you during Mondstadt's crisis. When you came, this place was known as Storm Terror's Lair. But I suppose that this place is more lair than storm terror at this point yep I, I i beat the storm terror into oblivion in fact if my memory serves this ruin has had largely nothing to do with that dragon for a long time the first time i laid eyes upon the ruins of old mondstadt the dragon of the east had yet to fall much less come to nest in this place huh but baima remembers that devalin first got in trouble hundreds of years ago don't think too much about it. Do you remember the light actuators that once sealed this ruin? If the Abyss Order is interested in this location, then they will not neglect those mechanisms. Let's go see what the situation is at those light actuators. Alright, light actuator number one. Charged deals with water shields the best. Stupid bubble, get out. Mm. I'll just overload a lot of them. Oh, we've got another, another mage. Come a little closer. You're in for a little shock. Try and get this mage down. There we go. Alright, this mage is down. Now we can get rid of this Semitrol. Explode your shield. And explode your shield. Let me explode you. And explode you again. Oh, so in the end, we still couldn't find that Abyss Herald. Bummer. 
it is quite a shame. I wouldn't call not having to gaze upon such a creature a shame exactly. Still, I do believe that you will come across one eventually. Mm, no, you're right. If it's a really powerful monster, it would be best to go around it. <sighs> How good it would be if all perils one encounters in their journeys could simply be solved by going around them. You seem to be familiar with journeys. Once upon a time, yes. I simply have experience from adventuring together with that traveling companion. Uh, you know, Dean, you keep talking about that person this and that person that. Where are they now, anyway? She... <sighs> no longer travels. I'm afraid that traveling can be too exhausting at times. So I've just noticed that we've still got Yan Fei's little sigils floating around with the traveler, even though the traveler is the one in the cutscene. That's interesting. Oh, is that how it is? Well, why are you traveling alone then? I still have some things left unfinished. Once they are done, I too will return home to rest. <sighs> yep, and it's good to have a home to come back to, isn't it? We camp out a lot when we travel. Hey, once you find your sibling, we should find a place to stay too, shouldn't we? Mm, Mondstadt's fisherman's toast is pretty tasty. But Liyue's Wanmin restaurant is great too. Eh, either way, we should settle down in a place where there's good food. Getting a bit ahead of ourselves, I think. Home. Well, it won't be too late to think about where you stay once your journey reaches its end. While you're still traveling, you should... I sense something familiar on that cliff. Huh? What's familiar? I felt it for a moment the previous time we came here too. A familiar feeling, you say? It could be someone you know well, or perhaps a monster. Could it be the Abyss? Whichever it is, we should see it for ourselves, and thus see clearly. We can reach the top of that cliff from over there. Let's go. Oh, Dean moves really fast, doesn't he? Maybe Let's here? use that wind current nearby to there catch we up. We found some breakable rocks, so let's destroy that and see what's behind. Uh. Treasure chest. Thank you. Up we go. Please take us all the way up. Thank you. Can you still sense that familiar feeling that you spoke of earlier? It's nearby. But it doesn't feel like there's anything around here. No monsters, no people, nothing. Indeed. There doesn't seem to be anything strange about this place. It doesn't look any different from the last time I was here. Last time, you say? My traveling companion brought me here on our previous journey. Hmm. So, Dane, what about you? What's your favorite place? Me? I no longer remember. I merely followed my traveling companion around on that journey. That's all there was to it. Huh? A ruin guard's footprint. A ruin guard was wandering around here? A ruin guard, you say? No peace to be found, even for a single dandelion. Examine the dandelion. Ooh, flashbacks. But we already knew that bit. 
This dandelion reminds me of... You mean your sister? But how could that be? You only touched that dandelion for a second! Yes, the moment I touched it. Perhaps that dandelion bears some sort of scent that only you recognize. As for why, has it perhaps experienced something related to you? Uh, you're saying some real confusing stuff. Hyman doesn't get it at all. Regardless, I have to get to the bottom of the... Do not rush. Vexation and anxiety are the enemy of rational thought. Your journey has only just begun, has it not? At least you now know that she is still on this world. At this time, the most important thing is the journey to find her itself. And I will find her. Yes, and this is something you must keep in mind as the meaning behind your journey. May you find your kin at the end of that journey. Well then, let us part ways here for now. Huh? You're leaving? Already? Only for now. Don't worry. We will meet again. After all, I did take 500 mora and those three answers you gave me. Alright, Dane's Leaf completed. Primos? Is there any others? I don't believe so. Now why can't I complete this one? Oh, we got a bunch to do. Oh, that's Perilous Trails though. That's a little ways down. But now we can we can do this though. Complete, we will be reunited. Okay, so we have to do this one. Complete the meaning of Lupercal. Hmm. I don't know what that one is. Alright, one moment while I look up this quest to find out which one it is. Because it's not going to let me progress without it. Ancient the meaning of Lupercal. It is the first act of Razor's story quest. So we have to finish Razor's quest. Oh, here we are. The meaning of Lupercal. I'm looking straight at it. I'm dumb. So we have to complete this one before we can do this one. Da, da, da. Oh, Hess, welcome for, welcome. Good. Here we are. Welcome Raiders. Thank you for choosing me as your raid victim. For those who are new here, I am a family friendly cyborg vampire. I hope you had a fantastic stream. Feel free to kick back, relax, and just have a chill time. Let's give you a shout out. You're playing some Genshin. How you doing, Hess? And how was your stream? I bet you're tired. Oh, hang on. I'm, I'm, I haven't returned to my couch. There we go. Getting lots done? Fantastic. I am currently working my way through various story quests because I cannot progress without them. Yeah, I've also got a new controller and it really does not like doing diagonals. So I'm, I can't do any of my Archon quests because this one here, it's like, oh, you got to do We Will Be Reunited quests. We got to re this one. You gotta do the meeting of Lupercal to start this quest. So now we're doing doing this one. Well, I haven't really done much exploring though. 
You've had several streams of exploring. Um, we have a level 60 Yanfei, level 60 Lisa, and a level 60 Barbara. The Barbara has a level 60 Thrilling Tales of Dragon Slayers. Lisa has a level 60 Magic Guide. And Yanfei has a level 70 The Widsith. I'm so glad that I got a Widsith. This book is amazing. And our artifacts are kind of just whatever, but they're all level 8s. We've got two piece berserker, two piece martial artist, two piece instructor, and two piece berserker, two piece berserker, and two piece adventurer. Um, I think constellation wise, I don't have any. I've got four constellations on Barbara because that's how my luck works. So, yeah, we're going to be doing Razor's story quest. We're just about to start it. So if you haven't done it, and you don't want spoilers, then you should probably go elsewhere. But if you don't mind spoilers, you're, you're, you're welcome to stay. Even though it's not so far away from the city, the environment here is totally untouched. It's a wild place ruled by the laws of nature. It's survival of the fittest out here. Even the slimes around here are huge. Like those super duper massive ones over there. Oh yes. Uh you saw Dean's Leaf. He is definitely not a a Dimitri ripoff, even though he looks exactly the same. <laughs> Yanfei just destroys things. Although admittedly, it is a lot easier to level up characters on this account, because I'm currently only leveling up three characters, and haven't touched any of the others. So my resources are a lot more focused. Razor with his giant electro sword. Uh, there are several other potential characters I can get. I think the only other four stars I can get are Ningguang and Sucrose. I think they're the only other two four stars I can get. And as far as five stars, I'm like, there's there's Klee, who would be fantastic. There is Yemiko. There is Kokomi. Um, drawing a blank on others, but that might that might be it. I can't remember. There's probably more. Do not worry. Wolves, friends. But you are? We're just some boring old travelers passing through. <sighs> Don't smell boring. You smell familiar. Four stars can be grabbed on any banner, but if they're on a banner, then they have a significantly higher chance of getting getting pulled. We smell? You smell like Knights of Favonius. They are friends. What's your name? I am Razor. Are you one of the Knights of Favonius too? I'm on you, stupid. I am not. Uh, oh. What's with the wolf pack? My wolf pack. They are my family. Your family? Yes, they raised me. We live together. We are family. I love Klee's interactions with Razor. So many They're like questions. best buddies. Uh, they are angry with me. I help you. Exposed our ambush. Boar ran away. Ah, oh, don't worry. Paimon will get her friend to catch you another boar. You just dobbed me in to do a menial task. He's stronger than he looks. N no, no need. 
When knights try to help, wolves go hungry. Don't be silly. Wait here. We won't screw this up. Just watch. All right, we got hunting traps. Uh, let's not use those because they suck. Ooh, treasure chest. <laughs> ah, trapped with ice slimes. Boom, boom. Fixed it. Remarkable condition. Now we need to give three chunks of raw meat to Razor. No worries, Hess. Have yourself a good rest. And thank you for coming over with the raiders. I... Thanks. But... Wolves catch five or six every hunt. <sighs> Tonight they go hungry. Uh, oh... Don't worry. You tried. At least you did better than other night friend. The red one. Bernie girl. If she was here... Whole mountain is fire. Can't catch <laughs> even one boar. I must go now. Here is not safe. Careful. Always watching. Always watching. Take care, ass. What a weirdo. <laughs> Rude. Bernie girl. From the Knights of Favonius? What is he? Hmm. Who do you think it is? The meaning of Lupical. Another day as an outrider. Find Ember and ask about the wolf boy. Now I only have to complete the first part of this quest, but if we're going to do this quest, we may as well do it all. Hey, Amber. Hi, Paimon. Hi, Traveler. What can I do for you? Hi, Amber. Amber, something has come up. Amber, do you know a wolf boy from Wolvendom? Who? He said you guys hit it off like a mountain on fire. What on earth are you talking about? Strange. He said he would wait for you at your regular spot. Did you lose your memory or something? My memory is fine. But you've been eating magic Matsutake again, haven't you, Paimon? Maybe. I have no idea what you're talking about. Magic Matsutake? Hmm. Remind me what color they are? Purple. Paimon may have had a couple the other day. But that's not the point. Paimon's not loopy. Do you really not know that boy that lives with the wolves? I don't know what you're talking about. But on the subject of wolves, I've been investigating something recently. In the past, the wolves never dared venture outside of Wolvendom. But now they're getting braver. I heard they attacked a cart fleet near Drunkard Gorge. If you have time, could you come and check out the situation with me? Sure. Awesome. I knew I could count on you. Let's go. And... Teleport. Look, up ahead! Something's happening! That ain't no wolf pack! Looks like it's the hilly trails attacking the carts after all! Huh, not such a mystery after all! Enough talk! Let's go help out! Yes, yeah, so let's go murder the inhabitants. <laughs> and lost. No! Easy done. Bless you. Piece of cake. So, the hilly trolls have been starting to flex their muscles on the back of the wolf scare. That's right. But I must say, if you think the hilly trolls are a nasty lot, the wolves are even worse. They 
They attacked Springvale this morning. Springvale? That's crazy! It's unheard of. I thought I would take my chances on the road after the wolves had their fun. I never thought the hilly churls would show up too. We should head there soon and see how bad the situation is. But first things first, you should assess the damage to your cart. Does it still work? I'll take a look. Let's see. Incinerate! Yeah, I think I, I think I'm muted in time for the sneeze. <laughs> I hope I did because it was quite loud. Oh dear. This is awful. Poor lad can't even stand. That's terrible. Except he's not actually injured. Right. It's awful. The wolves frighten him so badly that he's paralyzed with fear. That really is awful. This guy's a cat guy. He's got cat ears. Do you remember any significant details of what you saw? I... I've never seen a wolf in my life before today. It was terrifying. No details then, huh? No. Let's investigate the area again. Yeah, this guy's a... this guy's a cat. Oh, cat he is. Nice. <laughs> Massive claw marks. These claw marks. From them, we can tell the number and size of the wolves. This time, there were at least two wolves. And they must be... Be what? Yes, yes. They must be at least two meters high. Aimon, you do know what a wolf is, right? Hey, wolves are mysterious creatures. It's not like you see them every day. She's not wrong. I don't see them every day. I'm going to take your wheat and cabbage. Perhaps it's calcium deficient. Uh, anyway, seems pretty lucky how no one in the village got seriously injured. And then up. Hey, Amber. Wolfer. I heard that in Liyue, they make calligraphy brushes out of this stuff. The color looks nothing like Mondstadt wolf fur, based on what the books say. Could it be that they're from somewhere else entirely? Hair looks different at every place on the body. Same applies to wolves. You don't know where it's from. But look at this. Another hair. But what's that stuck to it? Seed. It's the seed of a wolf hookberry. Look, there are little hooks on the seed. The only places this grows in Mondstadt are Wolvendom and Bright Crown Canyon. So it's Wolvendom wolves after all? From that area, yes, but it could be that there are other wolf packs encroaching on their territory. This doesn't tell us everything, but it does give us a strong lead, enough to start investigating. I'll go and see to the villagers before we head off. And we'll go back to the cat man. He's a cat man. How is your investigation coming along? What? You're standing! Yes, his legs still work. Yes, I see. I have recovered, thankfully. 
I managed to claw my way back out of the depths of hell. So, Knights of Favonius, what have you found out? From inspecting the wolf fur left at the scene, we can tell that the wolves came from Wolvendom. Beyond that, we don't know anything. But please remain calm. I will head to Wolvendom shortly and get to the bottom of this. The Knights of Favonius will not allow this danger to continue any longer. Good. Better late than never, I suppose. How rude! I was ex uh, yeah, you're right. I was thinking the exact same thing. In the meantime, we'll just have to keep dealing with this on our own. Please, don't do anything stupid. <laughs> we do things a bit differently around here. You Favonius lot probably aren't used to it. They will pay for what they've done. <laughs> Goodbye. Very rude. You're not going to get my help again. It's awful. Really is. What is? Their future outlook, I mean. I agree. Young people could be so impulsive sometimes. If it's not too much to ask, I hope you can keep an eye on them. Stop them from getting into trouble. Only because you've got cat ears. It's no trouble. That's what we're here for. Even though that guy really isn't much of a charmer. Leave it to us. Uh, off to Wolvendom we go! And teleport? Hey, it's Razor. Who's there? Chill out, Razor. It's only us. You are also Knight? So you don't know each other after all? The red one. Bernie girl. No. This girl also red, but not so Bernie like other girl. Yes, it's not clear. This is starting to make sense. Is this the wolf boy you were talking about? Correct. His name is Razor. Help me out. With what? No time. I sent Lupa call away. People coming. Bad people. Those guys from earlier? I understand. But first, I have a few questions. <sighs> I smell blood. <sighs> Quick. Blood? I hope the wolves didn't attack those idiots. I kind of hope they did. Pick some flowers real quick. Let me take your meat. Indiscernible blood stain. Blood droplets. Not human blood. Wolf blood. Lupa call blood. Lupa what now? Are you going to tell us what it means yet? Lupa call his family fate gave me. When wolf accepts human as its own, or human accepts wolf, that is Lupa call. Sounds like gibberish to me. That's strange. Where does the word come from? Surely it wasn't made up by the wolves. It's just the name he gave. Who's he? Guardian of this land. Wouldn't that be Barbados, though? He is the ruler of Mondstadt. Enough! Another clue. Follow me. Time to hey, follow Reza. Wait. This is your chance to prove your innocence. <sighs> He's already gone. <laughs> More claw marks. <laughs> Many claw marks. Thank you, Herbs. I appreciate it. I think you're pretty cool too. This is him. We find his blood. Bad men did this. Oh, how terrible! I do agree that it's awful, but that doesn't change the fact that... We didn't attack Village! Not us! 
A black wolf and his pack. Not from here. They tried to take over land. They broke the code. Whose code? Guardian of this land. That's now the second time you've brought that up. Tell us who that is. I take Lupacall further in. Follow me. Maybe you see. Go deeper into Wolfendom. Whoa, if that one from earlier was two meters high, imagine how high this one must be. What's this? They're so huge. I don't know, Razor's voice actor off the top of my head. Hmm? Not very good at picking out voice actors. Well, that was weird. It just cut off Paimon's voice line. Help me. Collect these. Aren't those wolf hook seeds? Crush them. Put on wound. Bleeding stop. It's true. Wolf hook seeds have a liquid coating that not only functions as a mild painkiller, but also has a hemostatic effect. I read that in a book. Why? I have no idea. Hooks help seeds move. Liquid stops pain and bleeding. Animal doesn't feel hooks. They take seeds far away. Purple teacher told me so. I stay here. Take care of this one. I answer Red Girl's questions. Right. And if that lot does come back, I doubt they will try their luck against a member of the Knights of Favonius. Your wolf friend is not clear of my suspicion just yet, but we'll still need to fetch those seeds. Collect wolf hooks. I already have some. That was easy. Here you go, Razor. We're back. Have we got enough? Yes, enough. Enough was one. Razor was just telling me about the Wolven Code of Conduct. Mind-blowing stuff. Thank you. We've looked everywhere and haven't seen any other wolves. <sighs> yep, that's wolves for you. The one we managed to capture must have been sick or something. What are you doing here? Revenge! It's him! The one who was raised by wolves! Time to murder. Huh? So, it was you. I should have known wolves aren't smart enough to be behind this. I can't believe you would help wolves plot against humans. You are jumping to some massive conclusions, my dude. They throw you some scraps and you treat them like kin? Have you forgotten what you are? Enough! You can't talk about Razor like that! The Knights of Favonius are gonna let this guy off? We did not raid village! What is this disturbance to which I awaken? This is no offering to Boreas. Not oh, only he's from Selena, from gotcha. My kind. So too do you fail to recognize your own transgression. Time to fight Boreas, the great wolf king of the north. Please, come. Oh, I can't talk you to you. You seek to protect these outsiders, Razor. You cannot tame my fury. Okay, now we can. You must clear the thing with your sword. Show me what your humans have taught you. And bear your claws of steel. Let's try and get as many overloads as we can. Oh, you're walking out. Get 
out oh cutscene Side wolf pack coming in and breaking the rules. They will reap what they have sown. But Razor, you must not get involved. This is for the wolves to settle between themselves. You fight not with claws, but with the sword. You strike not with teeth. But with lightning, you are human, Razor. I am not like them. I don't belong. You are no wolf. This is a matter for the wolves, and the wolves alone. And you. You are Razor's Lupacar amongst humans. Your nobility stands out against others of your kind. If you ever wish, you may train with me. Well, thank you. I have nothing further to say. May we meet again, Razor and company. Nice to meet you. Hey, Razor, what's that look for? Why don't you come to the city for a few days? Yeah, you have a friend in Mondstadt anyway, right? You know, that red Bernie friend of yours? You're not safe in the wild anymore, but I know that you don't want to hurt them. I'm fine, don't worry. But I'm not city human. But also, not wolf. Cheer up. Thank you, Traveler, Paimon, and other red girl. You are just, Amber's now just other red girl. Hey, we've been with you all this time, and you still don't even know my name? Goodbye. Alright. Involuntary sacrifice. Wait, what is this quest? Ah, it's, it's the start of this one. Let's not start this one just yet. Actually, now's probably a good time to yes, stop the for the night anyway. Is a... Okay, so going up there is going to trigger that cutscene. The start of the quest. So let's head here. Do we have enough? We do have enough to do this dungeon once more. And get the Mappy Mara up a little bit higher. In we go. Let's see if we can do the harder one. If we can't, we'll bail out and go back. We absolutely stomped it the, the first time. Oh, 
we're not stomping as hard. You have ten opponents to defeat. So far, so good. We've got like six minutes total to do it, so that's plenty of time. And all these explosions are making it a lot easier to keep them at bay. Slamming down charge attacks and everything. Got one left. Oh, it's a chit mage. We should be able to ascend the Mapimara. It was over here. Oh, we need more of these. Geo Vishap Hatchlings, Vishaps, and Bismuthal Vishaps. Can we go level? Uh, trade in some of the lesser ones. Like, if we craft them. We can craft two. Oh, we didn't need to... Uh, I'm dumb. I now have less. Alright, time to hunt these down. Yeah, right, I didn't need to ascend them. Or craft them. Can I stop navigating here? Thank you. Let's find these hatchlings. We need 12. We have one, so we need one more. Come a little closer. Oh, he dropped four. No pain. Oh, no he's dropping not. These drop a lot. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh yes, we don't have to swim even better. Three berries. Hey, church chest. I'll take that. Oh we don't need to fight you. And you know, I can see our target over there. Snapdragon. Get. 
Alright, easy kill. Alright, I'm glad that you drop several per kill. That makes it a bit easier. Oh, there's two here. Oh, you were so close to dead. Don't be such a brute. Okay, these can farm wood for me. Interesting. Okay, okay, okay. Good to know. So if I zap you, then run over this tree. Do you farm this wood for me? Yeah? Is that farming wood for me? Maybe? Hmm. Not sure what was triggering it to... Oh, I got wood! I got wood! Okay, that's cool. I can, I can get wood this, this way. That's an awfully slow way to get wood, though. Da, da, da. Croco, thank you for the raid. Give you a, a shout out. Welcome, raiders. Uh, salty Croco, there we go. How was your raid? And welcome in, Agile Dude, Salty Croco, to watching, and not Smart AI, and Gene Acting Grandmaster. Welcome on in. So tell me, how was your stream? For those who are new here, I am a family friendly cyborg vamp vampire, and I like to keep things nice and comfy. So feel free to kick back and relax and have yourself a good time. I'll return back to my couch. And Gene Acting Grandmaster, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the lounge. You know, a sofa loafer. So, how was Croco's stream? Tell me about it. I am doing it fantastic. We are just currently farming up a couple of materials before the end of the stream. And it will. We're trying to get our Muppy Mara up to level 40. Level 50, I guess. Trying to ascend it. And I am currently doing a catalyst only run, unless story forces me to do otherwise. Just had a, a chill, just chatting stream, just chatting with your crocklings. Sounds like fun to me. Uh, one catalyst only by only using catalysts. Ooh. Geoculus. We'll take that. Uh. And having a yarn fang helps a lot. So I, I couldn't mine anything. I couldn't mine anything until I got yarn fang. Because Yanfei's charge attack can destroy rocks. A little slow, but it allows us to destroy the rocks. There we are. I've got no use for Core Lapis though. But most of the DPS is currently with Lisa and Yanfei. When we get to this monster, I'll be able to show you. Oh, if I had a Klee, I'd be leveling up Klee so quick. <laughs> he is so good. I, I, I like Klee because she's cuter. Alright, so we apply Electro. Switch to Yanfei. Overload. Apply Electro. 
overload by pyro and then overload with electro and just alternate the the overloads and it destroys everything Lisa currently has an elemental mastery build, which is awfully nice. And thanks her for the the lag. I appreciate it. Things do have some targeting issues though. There we are. Do I have a key for this? I do not. Of course I don't have a key for that. Oh, we can definitely write this off as incidental gains. Yeah, this is a this is a new account, so I currently don't have a lot of characters. I pulled a Yulan while trying to pull for a Yarn Fay. These are all level 20 because I had to ascend them to get extra wishes. But the only ones that I've been using are these. These three. Hmm. If I could get a Klee and a Yay Miko, I would trade out Yanfei and Lisa in a heartbeat. Now, now I can ascend this. We can level it up. There we are. Oh. Alright. So we're out of these and we're out of resin as well. So we'll have to wait until Saturday before we can ascend that again. But we need to have... What I think is a better book. Elisa, you can have that. And we can have Magic Guide hang around for later. For someone else. We may as well continue to farm these because we're going to need the materials anyway. We will need more. We'll just heal up Lisa while we travel over. Holding off on ascending my world level until we hit level 70 with Lisa and Barbara as well. Because with limited resources, I'm going to have a few issues with certain things. Uh, the limited resources being the limited pool of characters we can pick from. We don't even have the full party, which means we don't have any uh, resonance. None whatsoever. Remarkable condition. What did you, what did you launch it over there? Oh dear. Free loot, free loot. And another treasure chest, we'll take that. Oh, 
we'll fly on over to the next one. Plummet down into the fog. Could never go poorly. The thing about laser attacks is they're like instantaneous hits. There we are. Ooh, a treasure chest. Uh, break you out. the value on this and that looks to be the last one that was on the map let's go heal up here we are do i need any other materials for weapons Blech. weapons Yeah, we need Abyss Mages. Let's go get some Abyss Mages while we're here. we get the abyss mages i think i will end because it's starting to get a bit late here Ooh, i see a treasure chest and of course it's trapped destroy them with overloads. What do you think, is. cutie? I would absolutely love if there was a, a cryo catalyst user. That would be amazing. Deal with these. Trying to avoid the freeze. Here we are. Now I can't be frozen. I say as I get frozen. Beautiful bubble. Let the show begin. Get the heels on. Here we are. You got electro charge. Now we can overload you into oblivion. There we go. the wrong thing. Let's re retract those. Abyss mage track. I'll remind you again. The law can be both a help. Want to teleport? Delete those out of existence. <sighs> On the way through, of course. I'll protect us. And we'll heal up, Lisa. And then 
Bobby you can deal with the shield. And Abyss Mage destroyed. Next Abyss Mage. I still don't like fighting the Fatui though. The Fatui are not fun. Some of these additional creatures. Yes, nice overload. And climb up. They don't want to target properly. There we go. Maybe this one will target better. There we are. We'll take your daggers. Up this way. Up this, oh, that's a big cliff. Let's try and mitigate that cliff. There we are. This ramp will mitigate the cliff. Let's see if we can block this ruin, uh, this ruin hunter. I don't want to fight one. They do hurt a lot. But so do I. Absolutely destroyed it. Got a free bow from it. I didn't know they dropped bows. I probably did, I probably forgot. And try and destroy you. Let the show begin. Destroy your shield. And then have our various people destroy you. Just like that. These are only dropping one branch at a time though. This way. There you are. Now, get rid of this ice guy first. Oh, 
I thought I was far enough away from that. Guess not. They're fun. Even if they are suboptimal. I don't care. They are fun. And fun is what matters. And people can't tell you that you're doing a single player game wrong. Yeah, there's one over here. I saw him floating around before. There he is. Let's not stand in the water. There we are. Now we can stand in the water. Next one is over here. By the beach. Rather than by the beach, he's on the beach. Where are you? There you are. Oh, there's no avoiding the water on this one. At least I don't think so. Take out the ice arches first. Alright, ice arches are removed. Remove your shields. Shields are removed. Abyss mage is removed. Chip, huh? You're gonna make me run. Yeah. I don't fancy fighting that chitin mage, so I'm gonna ignore it. Try and give it a wide berth. I think this, this uh, Abyss Mage will be the last one I fight tonight. I'm starting to get tired. What is this? Oh, it's a viewpoint. A low viewpoint. We'll snag you. Looks good. Yeah. Oh, this is two Abyss Mages. Oh, these are annoying Abyss Mages too. You know what? Try not to enjoy Ultimate. this too much. I'm just gonna pop both of them and just destroy them and not have to deal with them. Easy done. Oh, that one's actually pretty close. Let's grab that one as well. Where are you? Down? You in a cave? Ah, there's a cave there. Nice. 
And while I'm here, I'm gonna grab this, uh, this Noctilucus Jade. Noct Noctilucus. May as well grab these crystal chunks. I'm gonna wait for my stamina. Now these mythical chunks don't mean anything to me. Grab that. Wait for stamina a bit more. back to town. Now we'll teleport to Mondstadt. Here we are. Alright. Thank you everyone for joining me. I'm going to stop there for the night. Let's find someone to raid. Who do we have that is live? Okay, uh, we're going to raid into... You, maybe? Alright, we're going to raid into, into Roku. I don't believe... I don't believe we've raided Roku before. Alright, Zex, thanks for coming by. Alright, raid Roku. Grab your raid messages. Let them know we're here for comfy times. Roku is currently playing some Apex. And if you want to know when I go live again, feel free to check out my Twitter or Discord. I post updates there as well as uh, up-to-date schedules every Sunday. Sometimes I post them on, Mon on Saturday. But they'll be up before Monday. So thank you everyone for joining me today. I've had a fantastic time. And until next time, have yourself a wonderful rest of your night. And remember to keep it comfy. Take care everyone. <laughs>